like to bring up Matthew Mendrink to talk about the future of X.commerce. Thank you, Roy. First, let me say, it's great to be in a room filled with so many people who are just so passionate about Magento. My goodness, it's amazing. I'm looking forward to hearing more of your stories, and more importantly, I'm really looking forward to writing some new ones with you. Uh, they've asked me to tell you guys a little bit about myself. When you say obsessive, uh, that fit really, really well with who I am. You saw the mushroom hunting. Uh, in my free time, I go up into the Santa Cruz Mountains and I hunt for mushrooms. And they're anything from the oysters that you saw up there, uh, chanterelles, black trumpets, and others. And one person asked me one day, he said, hunt mushrooms? Do they run from you? Do they fight back? He said, I don't think you can call hunting anything where you just go pick something off the ground. Uh, I've been married for 21 years. I have five children. I've been in San Jose for the last 10 years. And just real quickly, by show of hands, how many of you have had the last 17 years of employment uninterrupted without quitting a job? Raise your hand. I see about seven, eight, 10 hands. Uh, you're together with me. I have actually not quit a job for 17 years. Started in 1995 at a little place called Deja News, or Deja.com for you old geeks in the room. And from there, have come all the way through Half.com, eBay, PayPal, and now X.commerce with Magento. And it's been a fabulous ride. My background was the computer science degree at the University of Texas, as well as a degree in mathematics. And I remember very fondly coveting my friend's 486 when it first came out and looking forward to installing my Linux installation on his old 386, which is what I could afford at the time. So a geek and been a part of the internet for a very long time. Now the other story I want to tell you is one that runs parallel with the one that Roy just shared. As you know, eBay's core competency is about connecting buyers and sellers. We're leading the way in social and in mobile and digital trends and are creating a seismic change in commerce today. While the Magento team was transforming e-commerce with their platform, eBay was taking a hard look at this global commerce landscape. Now, what we saw was fundamental shifts. John Donahoe talks about commerce being at an inflection point. A few months ago, he made a prediction. He said, we'll see more change in how consumers shop and pay online in the next three years than we've seen in the last 15. So as we saw these changes coming, we did a whole lot of listening to buyers and sellers to understand how these changes were impacting them and what they needed, and most importantly, how could we help them? And here's what we learned. We learned that buyers want, they ha that hasn't changed much in, in the last few years. They want what they want, they want it when they want it, they want it how they want it, and most of all, they want the right products easily discovered. They want them at the right price, and they want it where they choose. What has changed is their actual ability to get everything that they want. With technology today, consumers are changing and reshaping the entire commerce landscape. They're the ones truly in control. You have smartphones, you have tablets, and these have obliterated the lines of offline and online. In about half of all retail transactions, consumers access the web at some point. Now, in today's shopping environment, there are several key consumer touch points. Each of these circles represents an enhancement to the shopping experience. And by this time next year, this graphic will have so many more of these little circles, and they'll be all surrounding the consumer. You see, the power in commerce lies squarely in the hands of consumers. And they're using that power to find the products they want and the prices they want in the places they want, and they all want this to work absolutely seamlessly together. So consumers, they love this new reality. They love the new commerce reality. But what about merchants? It turns out that meeting the needs of these consumers has its challenges. As we shaped our plans for x.commerce, we spoke to hundreds of merchants. We heard the, from the heads of the major retailers, 
And we heard about their needs to expand the footprints of their locations and to go global in multi-channel ways in a much bigger way than ever before. We heard from the online sellers trying to figure out how to keep up with this explosion of social sites. A lot of them asked about data. How do we get the data that we need? How do we make sense of the data that we have? And how do we turn that data into insights that helps our business and drives business results? So retailers of all sizes voice their need to compete effectively in a world where technology is just huge. Again and again, they said to us the same thing. They said, we're not technologists, we're retailers. We just want to create great shopping experiences for our customers. But when it comes to technology, we need help. Now think about all those consumer touch points we just mentioned. Merchants have to engage their customers against all of those touch points. And what's more, these touch points need to interoperate cross-platform and cross-channel. Think about the costs of trying to keep up with this technology pace. Unless you're a global retailing giant, there's simply no way to keep up. And then there's this challenge of trying to predict which emerging technologies will matter and which won't. Do I take a risk and be an early adopter, or do I let my competition try the next great thing and risk falling behind? All the while, they have to manage a real business. How do I manage shipping? What about keeping up with the different tax rates and different geographies and procurement, customer relationship management tools, back-end systems, iPhone, Android, iPad? I mean, there's so many things that these merchants have to do. This is the new commerce reality. Multi-channel, multi-touch point, consumer-driven, brimming with opportunities, but absolutely loaded with challenges.